Solo 401, what's up, man? Uh, we just saw a Cybertruck go by. Hopefully, it comes back around. It's always good to see Solo 401 in the chat. What do you guys think of the 1000 Museum building? This thing is insane. It's one of my favorite buildings in all of Miami. Just outside of the Kaseya Center. And the Miami Heat game should be getting out maybe in a few minutes. I actually think it's, what, just started second half, I think, in the Miami Heat game? Let's see Sharon, what's going on? Shannon is here. D says we're not in South Beach. Not tonight. Uh, I'm gonna try for South Beach tomorrow. Had to take care of a few things. Yeah, Stan says the VIX hit 18 today, uh, which is poison to me. So I pulled out of stock indices back into treasuries. Yeah, we have a, a little bit of a ramp up in volatility. Um, you know, not for nothing. Look at where the 10 year US Treasury yield is. I think it's over four, uh, excuse me, over five and a half percent. So maybe not the worst idea, right? Portfolio management. Um, however, you know, there are pullbacks and corrections in cyclical bull markets. Let me just uh, cross here. I wanna see if we can get the Miami Heat game coming out. But to your point about treasuries, I mean, even if you have money in money market accounts, it's yielding like five to five and a quarter percent right now. You know, 5% on a million bucks, it's a lot of money. I mean, that's somebody's yearly salary. That's the, I mean, think about that. That's the average yearly salary in America. You could be earning risk-free, which is good for savers. So two thumbs up for savers. Guys, check this out. This is the Paramount Tower. It has this crazy looking LED screen on it. Really, really cool stuff. But I always love this view looking at the Zaha Hadid building. This is the 1000 Museum uh, that has the helipad on the roof. But you know, guys, I was all over Miami today, literally all over Miami. I was in Wynwood, I was in Mid Beach, I was in Edgewater. Um, I was in South Beach for a little bit, back up to North Miami Beach. I was all over the place. And it just makes me realize how crazy, crazy impressed I am with Miami. I mean, the city is just unreal. Like when you really take a step back and think about it, it's an unbelievable city. You know, just like New York is special in its own way. If you get the time to really explore Miami, go through Wynwood, go to every single nook and cranny throughout Wynwood, the place is just, it's not even a real place. It's like fantasy land. Um, it's beautiful and I love the city and it kind of stinks that I have to go back to New York, although I love New York City, but I got to go back to New York on Sunday. Um, but wow was today just a crazy day. The city of Miami was electric. Um, it is Friday night. Oh, Madonna mia, that was crazy. Um, Kaseya Center over here. The Miami Heat are probably just finishing up. It's a beautiful night. Dario, what's going on? I see Diana, welcome. Stylish Bunny, always good to see you. Brandon. Thanks so much for joining. Stan. Uh, check the logic, Doc7. Uh, Fat Pizza. Says, Tom, are you going to Orlando for the theme parks? You know, I've not been to Orlando in a really long time. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming Orlando has changed in a major way too. I just have never been to Orlando in such a long time. I don't know, I like being by the water, I like being by the ocean. I think Orlando is a little bit too far inland for me, but I got nothing against it. I think the state of Florida in general is awesome. 
Cindy Foley, what's going on? Eric is as a Miami and myself, born and raised in Miami. I approve this message. Yeah, I'm I'm so so impressed with it. Um, extremely impressed. Now, as you know, I've been bullish on Miami for a long time, but it's far exceeded my expectations. Every time I come here, you know, meet with different people, uh, explore different parts of the city, you know, even meet with some different startups that are happening here. It's, uh, it always exceeds my expectations. It's an unbelievable place. Now I came back here because I want to see if we could see any dolphins jumping in out of the water. Haven't seen that yet this trip. Um, but just a quick announcement for those of you who are just joining us on the live stream tonight. I did send out the newsletter, the behind the street newsletter last night on Thursday, right as the market closed. Uh, so go over and check it out. Check out your email. I think you're gonna find it quite interesting. We talked about a lot of important topics, particularly inflation. And we spent a lot of the time talking about commodities. So if you have not had a chance yet to check your email, uh, just make sure it didn't go to spam. Uh, but if you want to sign up to receive all of our free equity research, just type exclamation point news, N-E-W-S in the chat. And the Nightbot will drop the link to our Substack. Hey, Chris Trapp says, I have been in the spot where you're at, right next to the arena. I like to go to Ultra at Bayfront Park. I think that just concluded, right? The Ultra Music Festival. Now, last night, we were checking out the brand new Pier 5, I think it's called, at Bayfront Park, or Bayside, excuse me. That place is awesome too. That place is amazing. For dinner tonight, I went to that Julia and Henry's, which is this indoor, I think it's three floors of just restaurants, bars, bunch of stuff. It's awesome. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing city. Yes, yeah, Stylish Bunny says I need to uh, revisit Miami. A hundred percent. Even if you haven't been, I would say in the, even in the last three years, it's totally different. Totally, totally different. Um, so I'd check it out. Chris is just a few weekends ago, every March. Uh, someone says, Tom, are you planning to stream in Vegas in the future? No. Uh, the last company I worked for, we had a big warehouse in Vegas, like 30,000 square feet. I've only been to Vegas twice. Henderson, Nevada. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with it, but that's kind of where I was. I liked it. I think Vegas was great, but not for me. Uh, I think it's a great city, just not for me. Desert really wasn't my thing, to be honest. Darius is a common, so many cop cars. No, but whenever there's a game, so there's a, a big basketball game going on right here in the Kaseya Center. The Miami Heat is playing. So every time you have a basketball game getting out, you have all these police cars here directing traffic. You're gonna see there's gonna be thousands of people that come out uh, here any moment now. This is the Paramount Tower. But yeah, today was, it was crazy. Like Wynwood was just unbelievable. Um, and every single restaurant you go into here is just packed. There's so many people in the restaurants and the bars. I was in Julia and Henry's today. It was pretty insane. And I just got to downtown Miami when, uh, what's it called? They were just letting everybody in the heat game. So many people in there. Now, one of the things about downtown Miami, uh, Everybody drives here. That's one thing I noticed. Like in New York, it's not, I mean, everybody just walks to where they need to go. So it's definitely a different feel. Uh, the, mini Mi the mini Manhattan, I should say, of Miami is all the way down south. It's 
called Brickle on Mary Brickle Village. But this is the Freedom Tower. This is one of my favorite buildings in all of Miami, Florida. This is where the first Cuban immigrants arrived to the United States, right here. 26 as I lived in Miami during grad school. The city is so magical and has such a rich culture. You gotta check out Wynwood. I was there today, I know I keep saying it, but the last time I was in Wynwood was about a half a year ago and it's completely changed even now. It's just incredible. There's so much new construction going up. Uh, it's awesome. It's a really, really awesome place. Maybe some people are just leaving the heat game now. But it's gonna be a shorter than normal stream. I gotta be up early tomorrow. But here is the main entrance to the Kaseya Center, formerly known as the FTX Arena until that fraud, which was pretty much a Ponzi scheme, uh, collapsed. Yeah, Cynthia's Bell Harbor is a lot like uh, North Beach. Really? I don't know. I was actually in Bell Harbor today. I was at the shops at Bell Harbor, the Bell Harbor shops. That place is unbelievable. You know, I've actually never before been inside the shops at Bell Harbor or the Bell Harbor shops, whatever they call it. The place is unbelievable. Uh, it's almost too clean. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like sterile. It's like everything is picture perfect. It's like it's not real. Like the plants are all real and everything, obviously, but everything is so perfectly manicured and landscaped that it just looks like everything is plastic. I don't understand how to explain it. It's just an amazing place. I was able to take some standalone video there, which I'll upload later, but we'll head over by Bayfront Marketplace. Maybe if the battery holds up, we'll walk past the development site that is going to be the new Citadel Securities Tower. So Citadel is probably one of the largest market makers. They also have a hedge fund division. And they recently relocated their corporate headquarters from Chicago, Illinois, uh, to right here in Miami. We'll check on the development site. Zen Pyro says you came to Florida just in time because hurricane season starts in 50 days. Well, I'll be out of Florida tomorrow. I'm flying back to New York City. But I should be back and forth maybe in the next three weeks here. This is the Elser. You can purchase uh, studios, one bedrooms, all the way up to four bedrooms in here that are fully furnished and they're very easy to rent out on like a short-term rental basis. Oh, cool. Solo 401. Uh, this is dead compared to Manhattan. I'll be in NYC for my birthday May 9th. Ooh, we both have birthdays in May. Mine's on the 25th. Let me know when you're around. I'll be, I'll be in New York City May 9th, for sure. Now, here's what I could say about Miami. Um, it's, it's, you're never really gonna see the velocity of people in terms of uh, street traffic, like foot traffic on the sidewalks. It's never gonna be like that. It's inside places, inside different establishments. It's a different culture. Like in Manhattan, everybody just walks to where they need to go. Here, everybody has a car, they drive. You can see all the cars parked here. And then they just Uber where they need to go and go in those specific establishments. It's not really like New York. It's a complete, completely, completely different uh, vibe. The only sort of section where you're gonna see some similarities is in Brickell. 
which is coined the mini Manhattan. But downtown Miami, you're really not gonna see many people, um, you know, out and about walking around on the sidewalks like New York. Like New York City, it, particularly on a nice day, if you get a nice day in New York City, the sidewalks are like sardines, particularly Fifth Avenue, Soho, which we're gonna be doing more walking tours there. Um, all up and down Broadway. It's one of my favorite parts of New York City. If you get off of Canal Street, go to Broadway and just walk directly up until you hit NoHo. That's one of my favorite sections in New York. It's an awesome, awesome section. Solo 401 says, I'd love to visit Miami, never been. Dude, you'd love it, trust me. You would absolutely love it. It's a different vibe. It's tropical, it's beautiful, it's awesome. Um, I think you'd like it. If you like New York, you'd like, you'd like Miami. Lots of New Yorkers down here too. You know, another place I was at, I was checking out a construction site of my friend's new development. He's building a really, really nice condo going to be about 25 units bay harbor island wow was i impressed never been before so if you're in bal harbor right on 96th street and you take that bridge over to uh like over the intercoastal there you're gonna hit bay harbor island that place is unbelievable really really nice um so the same developer they're based in brooklyn new york in red hook brooklyn uh, developer is Red Hook Partners, Lee Cohen. So our team, the Kirsten Jordan team at Douglas Elliman, we are running sales on the Conover, 199 Conover Street. And now they're building really nice condos uh, at Bay Harbor Island, right here in South Florida. So I was checking that site out today and blown away, totally blown away by the neighborhood. Uh, I think it's going to be an absolute smashing success. It's going to be awesome. Ace Options trading, what's going on? Yeah, lots of uh, interesting intraday moves in the market. We had a 2400 intraday print on gold, which is unreal. Um, you know, as of late, gold has been moving like Bitcoin in terms of its volatility. Now, this is the new Bayfront Marketplace. This is the brand new Pier 5. We checked this out last night, but it's cool to check out again. This is kind of like an outdoor slash indoor bar. Pier 5. Nick says, where do you see gold in a year? Um, if you type exclamation point news, N-E-W-S in the chat, I wrote a whole article about it last night. So if you check your email, I'm not sure if you receive it. We send out all of our equity research every other Thursday, right as the market closes. And I sent it out last night to everybody. If you didn't get it, um, you can just scan the QR code on your screen and it'll take you right to our substack. And we had a really large section on gold and commodities, and we covered it all right in there. So feel free to read it, use it,
Sunshine and White. Yeah, I mean, in conclusion, I think they did an amazing job on this new renovation here at Pier 5. Unbelievable job they did. Alright, let's head out. Hey, Zozo Bob, what's up? So Bob, I was checking out my friend's new development in uh, Bay Harbor Island. So our friend Lee Cohen, who is the CEO and founder of Red Hook Partners, the same developer who built the Conover in Red Hook, they have a crazy, crazy project uh, right as you go across from Bal Harbor. It's, an, it's unreal, this thing. It's going to be amazing. And I've never been to Bay Harbor Island before, and I was totally blown away. Super impressed. They have lots of really cool, like, shops. Everything is super clean. It's awesome there. I love it. Hey, Talon. Good to see you. Yeah, they did a good job on the marketplace. I always get Bayfront and Bayside confused. I always say Bayfront Marketplace or Bayside Marketplace. I always get the two confused. 
Yeah, Zozo Bombs is telling Bay Harbor Islands is a hidden gem. Next time I'm down here, send me an email and I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a, a tour of this uh, this place that they're building. It's awesome. The developer is Red Hook Partners. Hey, Action Kid, what's going on? Welcome to Miami. I should say welcome back to Miami. We're checking out the new renovations here. They've got renovated most of it. AK says, I get them confused also, it's too similar. Now, they haven't demoed the building that they're gonna build one Bayfront Plaza yet. But I'm excited for that development. NBA Elias, Tom, any opinions on bank earnings today? Sign of things to come? Honestly, I was so busy today, I haven't even had a chance to look at them. I just know JP Morgan Chase was down uh, like 6% today. But when I get home, I'm gonna sit down and go through a lot of the earnings. I was out all day. I was outside all day today. From 6 a.m. all the way till now. I have not been inside once. But I'm assuming they weren't good. I'll have to check it out. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Um, I think once I get back to New York, we're gonna really hammer down and do a deep dive into bank earnings. Wow, it's actually really busy tonight. More than I would have expected. Check out some of these boats in the marina here.
This will bring us to the back of the Intercontinental Hotel. Hey, Joseph Hardaway, what's going on? Welcome to downtown Miami. Ferris wheel here. Darius is a tourist to local people. I think it's a mix of both, honestly. I don't think we're gonna have time tonight, but I ate dinner and I had some of the best ramen I've ever had. And I wasn't expecting to have that here in Miami. But there's this really good place, uh, Julia and Henry's. Julia and Henry's. So if you're visiting Miami and you're in the downtown neighborhood, check it out. Just look it up on Google Maps. It's this indoor food court that has probably over 50 individual restaurants. Has bars, everything. And um, unbelievable ramen I had. Really, really good spot. Now you have the Intercontinental Hotel on your left, and then the 200 Southeast Financial Center dead ahead. Let's see if we can see anything in the water. Um, but yeah, today I spent actually a lot of time at the shops or the Bal Harbor shops. I've driven past it a thousand times. I've never been inside. So if you're visiting South Florida, if you're visiting Miami, I would actually carve out an entire day and just walk around. You don't have to buy anything because, you know, in the Bal Harbor shops, it's all like crazy luxury brands like Fendi, just like really, really high-end stuff. But the ambiance, the environment is unbelievable. Everything is so clean. <laughs> the landscaping is amazing. It's this indoor, outdoor kind of mall. Everything is pristine. You have restaurants. The place is unbelievable. It's like it's not even a real place. Um, highly, highly recommended. after seeing all these places and, I, and I've lived here and I still haven't really explored probably a fraction of what's available here I don't understand how anybody gets anything done here like in terms of work I mean there's so many distractions uh, it's so much cool stuff I just don't understand how anybody focuses and gets any work done honestly um, NBA Elias is how would you compare Bal Harbor shops to the shops in New York City it's different. Um, what I can, I, I think I like the Bal Harbor shops better, just maybe because it's just different to me. But think about the high end and the modernness of the Hudson Yards, but add a tropical vibe to it. That's kind of what uh, my main takeaway was. So if you've been inside the Hudson Yards, which I've taken you guys in there numerous times, the shops at Hudson Yards, it's that type of quality, but tropical, right? That's kind of what I'd say. Ooh, I think there's fireworks. Maybe we could see some. What do you think? Maybe we could see a little bit. Can you guys see it on the stream? Let's see. Yeah, we can see a teeny bit. I wonder who's lighting those off. Is it the Miami Heat?
get a little bit closer to the fireworks. You can hear the sound of the fireworks ricocheting off the buildings in Brickle Key. All right, I think we'll clear some of the tree line here. I wonder who's lighting them off. Has to be the Miami Heat. This is getting me in the mood for the 4th of July. Pretty soon, before you know it, we're gonna be in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, watching the 4th of July fireworks. Zozo bombs, is it going off in Wynwood? Possibly. trying to get a little closer so we can try to see. What's going on? Good to see you here. We're just kind of relaxing tonight, watching some of the fireworks that are apparently going on. see just a little bit of Brickle Key in the distance. We'll loop around and then we'll head back up Biscayne to grab my scooter.
But I mean, what a place to live, right? And imagine if you live in one of these condos here, you have this entire park to walk around, ride bikes. And it's very well lit. And there's a lot of police presence, so everything feels really safe. Hey, Tariq, good to see you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, what would Greta say about the fireworks? Did anybody see the uh, very patronizing video that was posted on Twitter by Senator Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren? My phone's gonna die, but if you go on X, I retweeted it. It was so patronizing. It was almost just so cringe. Um, I can't really explain it. Just if you check us out on X or Twitter, if you follow at Walks Wall Street, just go watch that video uh, that Senator Warren and Chuck Schumer put out about, oops, let me get out of the way. Oh, the park is closed, got it. I was like, damn, he's coming right at us. Uh, yeah, go check out the, the, the video they put out about the student loan forgiveness or the student loan relief. The background music was like, you know, watching Sesame Street, learning how to, you know, recite the ABCs or something. It was so patronizing. Um, anyway, not my choice, not my choice. All right, Bayfront Park. They're gonna build the new fountain. This is where the old fountain used to be. Building a park to be proud of, spring of 2025, wow. So there's gonna be an entirely new Bayfront Park. Crazy. You can see the Metro Mover going by in the distance. All right, everybody, but unfortunately, the phone is gonna conk out. I just wanted to pop on just to say hello to everybody. But we should be back tomorrow, should be. Please God. But if you enjoyed the video tonight, the stream, feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just as a quick reminder, yesterday we emailed everybody all of our thoughts on the markets. So if you wanna receive all of our free equity research, just scan the QR code on your screen, punch in your email, and it will bring you to our Substack. Uh, lots to talk about. We talked about commodities. We did a deep dive into the CPI report. We should be live tomorrow from South Beach. I really want to get you guys to South Beach before I head back to New York City on Sunday, where we will be for the next month and a half or so. Uh, so everybody, thanks so much. Signing off from the beautiful city of Miami. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. Teresa Diaz, the LT Prod, NBA Elias, Solo 401, all of our moderators, Take care, signing off from the Magic City. See you soon.